Namaste. Morning. For today, let me share with you a simple preparatory sequence for the Viparita Karani. Yeah, you need to warm the body first before you do that technique. Yeah, and this simple flow will help you do that. All right, lying on the box. Yeah. Yeah, prepare your, your props, your joints are supported. Yeah. Right. Open the arms wide apart. Yeah. And just move your hips and your knees to side to side. So easy first, with your feet lightly touching the ground. And then begin to find the breath. Inhale as you lift them up. And exhale and let them fall. Good. And then bed by bed, lighten your feet. And then you're going to lift them up. And you may allow the shoulder to peel off as you shift that and change. Good. And after this, adding this yeah, knee swings, yeah, lifting top knee and then hugging the knee. That yeah. and what it does, it opens the sacrum, yeah, releases stagnation, the low back too. And periodically lifting the head, yeah. Uh, and you may adjust the arms a little bit lower yeah, if you feel pressure in the neck, right? And then slightly moving actively, yeah, swinging, and then you use this swinging momentum yeah, to open our lower back region. Okay, from there, back to the center. Right, <laughs> crossing ankles, yeah, rocking up and down a few times, and just rub the low back. Good. And after this, yeah, changing legs, and then just keep moving up and down. Good. And then circle around like this, and a bit of a side to side. All right. Extend your left leg forward, cross the right knee on top, and do yeah, a reclining, yeah, simple twist. And easy shoulders, easy neck. Breathe. Beautiful. All right, from there, yeah, rolling on your tummy, so keeping your right knee bent, extending the left shoulder forward, and let the head rest, and then fold your left knee and circle the knee around, yeah. And then swim that leg. Um, you might turn the head the other side. You might tuck the head to the floor. And just use your other arm to support your forehead. Good. And then just let your feet relax. Yeah. Beautiful. All right, extending the leg, shifting the weight, to level the hips. Yeah. And then rest the head and folding them. So if you notice, my knees are lightly hanging. Yeah, over that elevation, so there's no pressure in the knee as you circle your legs around. Good. And a bit of this uh, to open the lower spine right. and crisscross, uh, swim the leg, right. then massage the ankles, pointing and flexing, and the joints. Right, and then from here we press up the kneeling, right, and then use zero support yeah, to keep your joints relaxed, and then you may move your hips, yeah, as you extend them back, yeah. lengthen the spine forward, and then do the other side, yeah. and then settle in the middle. Yeah, balasana, mm -hmm. easy. Breathe. Beautiful. All right, shift the weight forward. Yeah, you might just cross the ankles and then sitting and extend. Yeah, hands support our thighs and roll on your back again. Yeah, so we're back. Open. And this time, you can do the movement slightly actively. Yeah. Swinging, hugging. You can hold that side longer if you need. You may use the opposite hand to do that. Good. And back to the center. 
We're crossing ankles, rocking up and down again. Good. And then changing legs. Good. And a few circles. With the mouth side to side. Hug and release. Good. And then, well, all right, right leg long, left knee on top. You might lightly shift before you open your left arm wide across. Yeah. And then settle. Reclining twist. Now you should be able to feel now your body is yeah, open internally, yeah, spine mobile, and the joints light. Breathe. Yeah. Good. And transitioning on the tummies. Keep the knees wide. Uh, and lengthen your right side long. Yeah. Rest the head, bending the knee, and circle around. Yeah. We find the leg, we access your inner thigh joints, the hip joints too. Yeah, you may adjust that arm. This is my loose side, so you know, everyone, you know, we all have a uh, loose and more flexible side. Yeah, so just adapt, man. Yeah. Adjust, and yeah, you can release that shoulder. Yeah. Good. And once you feel the lightness in space, and then settle for a moment and breathe this one out. Yes. So when you prepare for the Viparita Karani, I encourage you to go um, for mobility components. Yeah. So because as you roll yourself back, you need to you access uh, the discs of your spine. And then by moving mobility, yeah, the joints open, yeah, and the movement becomes flowing. Now extending leg, all right, level the hips. Yeah, do this first, let them fall side to side, crossing ankles, circle around, yeah, random movement, swimming leg. Good. Then you might vibrate and then shake your legs and the toes. And then circle ankles, pointing and flexing. Good. Alrighty. Extending. Yeah. Wiggle lightly. Exhale the pressure out. Good. And pressing the kneel. And here. Beautiful. And then settle. So this uh, preparatory sequence is actually a, a full practice on its own. A short one in the morning without doing the Viparita Karani. Yeah? Yeah, gives us this energy and it's good for massaging and stimulating the organs of the hips and the core region. All right. So I would normally do a downward dog before the Viparita Karani. Yeah? Like this. But so I can... Yeah, clear the pathway. One round Kapalbati. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, lighten up. And exhale, settle down. Good. And crossing through, and sitting forward. Exhale. All right. And then do the tongue massaging, circle, and some neck stretching, good, and drying the mouth. Yeah. Practicing the eye mudra, inhaling, lifting your optic nerves up, lifting the eyebrows up, looking inside your brain. Yeah. Press the hard palate and the tongue, the surface of the tongue together. Relax the bottom lip. And exhale out. Yeah. One more here. Breathing in. Nabho and the internal Shambhavi Mudra. And suspend. And exhale down. Alright. We're ready now. Good. Refold your mat or your blanket. Yes, you have that support. Good. And allow your head to rest on the ground. Yeah. And there's this healthy elevation yeah, between your neck, shoulders, and your head up and then prepare rocking up and down yeah, and then do your final adjustment beautiful all right when you're ready inhaling 
good. Catch the hips. And applying a lesson about the general principles of alignment. Uh, Udiya Nabanda, inhale, fold the lower belly in. Uh, and then send your feet up. Uh, and then your feet here, yeah, not too past, uh, so you can see your toes in front of you. And then your spine is angled to a 60 degree flexion. So it's not the shoulder stand before the karani. So your spine is not on the uh, vertical axis, but rather angled towards the 60 degree flexion. Good. And then there, dry the mouth, inhaling, send your optic nerves up. You know, sealing the tongue against the heart palate. And exhale with the anabanda. About five mindful breathing we stay. Every time you inhale, energize the hips. Yeah. Bring your sensation from the hips to the core, from the core to the chest, from the chest to the hollow of the throat, from the hollow of the throat, the back of the neck, entering the skull, yeah, looping over our head, down the forehead, between the eyebrows, and exhale the breath out. Two more. Breathing in. Breathing out. Yeah, you may do the external shambhavi, where you're looking passively and lazily between the eyebrows, and then just gaze passively up the dark spot between the eyebrows. You may do ujjayi here. One more. Good. Now to release, inhale, send your feet over. Yeah, closing the hips. Yeah. Roll your spine down. Bring the head with you. Good. All right. Unfold your mat. Unfold your blanket. Head down. Hands down. Breathing in. Udhyana Bandha. And extend the legs. If this is heavy, bend your knees. Inhaling, inhaling. And exhale, soften here. You may do your head adjustment, the haps. And then settle. Let the pressure drain. You may keep the seal against the heart palate. Send the sensation of the breath to the top of the nostrils, inside the forehead, and separating. Yeah running across the forehead, down the temples. And then from the temples, you can visualize the breath, piercing the hemisphere of the brain. And they meet at the top of the brain. And then they descend together between the eyebrows and separating again from the nostrils and out. Yeah? Good. And then actually it starts from the hips. Breathing in, hips. Pierces the spine. Right through the midline. The heart and the throat. All the way to the back of the throat. Entering the nostrils. Between the eyebrows and they separate. Yeah, and then they climb up to the hemispheres of the brain. Up to the crown. And down the forehead and exit through the nostrils. Okay, one more. Beautiful. All right, and we hug the knees to our chest. Well, yeah, tucking, yeah, the Mahamudra yeah, variation. Yeah, fold to one side, yeah, to restore the back. Exhale there, drying the mouth. Uh, breathing in. And change and stay. And we just do this one breath, one move. Inhale, rise them up. Exhale, and then let it settle here. Breathing in, left. The settling at the bottom of the exhalation is longer. Exhaling. 
one more per side inhaling and exhaling inhaling and exhaling and recenter yeah, come up and down to rocking motion good and a circle legs around and a bit of a side to side good. beautiful all right and gently rock up and down massaging a low back and to one side and come up good. and we balance our bodies in the balasana again you may rest the head and bow the head loose breathe let the jaw drop beautiful all right and up to kneeling good and your cross legs <laughs> But you can repeat the sequence twice. Yeah, right. If you're doing uh, another round of Viparita Karani. Yeah. But the recovery, yeah, just make them short. Yeah. So you can um, progress to the Viparita Karani without too much delay. Because if you're doing two rounds of Viparita Karani, you want your transition short. Yeah, but I suggest you flow. Yeah, so just do the side to side and then do the Viparita Karani again. Yeah, and then finish with the child stretch. Yeah, the half top. Yeah, and then you sit. Okay. Right, and then you just cup your hands, bow the head to your heart. If you're meditating after, yeah, you can do your Shavasana. But let's close for now. Inspiring the breath in, send your optic nerves up. Exhale the breath out and relax your eyes. Right? This time preparing for the long om. Yeah, breathing in. Oh. Exhale the remaining air out. Sealing the tongue as you inspire the breath. No rush. time let's make it a happy om good and just by gesturing our lips like a gentle smile our state of mind's changed too. Good. Inhale. Hands left over the head. Good. And exhale down. Right. Do this two more times. Rise the breath up. Complete yogic breath. You might lightly sway at the top. And exhaling. Oh, a beautiful breath. Everything up. Retain a moment. Good. And hands press. Exhale in front of a heart. And bow our head slow. Namaste to you. Enjoy the rest of the day, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Take care.